So as you know, the NHS is always in the news, and most recently it's been because of the seven-day NHS proposal. Tell me, what do you know about this? So I've seen articles about the seven-day proposal across the media, and particularly over the last couple of weeks. From what I gather, services such as ambulance, A&E, and even some GPs currently work on a seven-day basis, but it's services such as outpatient care, routine, non-urgent ops that currently work only Monday to Friday that they're planning to extend to cover the weekend as well. So I think the idea behind the proposals has come from a report that shows patients that come into hospital on a weekend have a 16% higher death rate compared to those that come in on a weekday. And the government believes that one solution to this is to have more consultants in hospitals over the weekend. So what are your thoughts? Good idea? Bad idea? Um, if the proposal does eventually go through, I think it will have huge impacts on both staff and patients of the NHS and naturally there will be both pros and cons. So the major benefit is hopefully that fewer patients will die and there will also likely be less chaos on Monday mornings for NHS staff to deal with from usually what there usually is which is a huge backlog of work that's built up over the weekend. But there has been major major resistance against this proposal and the first reason for that is down to costs. So the Conservatives have promised to inject an extra £8 billion into this project over the next few years, but estimates say such a programme of a seven-day NHS would take at least £30 billion. So where the remainder of the money is going to come from, no one really knows at the moment. There's also been major resistance from doctors themselves. They already work enough unsociable hours, and I think they believe under the new system they're likely to work more hours and face wage cuts and the Royal College of Nurses have even come out and said they would consider strike action which is something they've never said before. So overall I believe the government is right. Patients should receive the same quality of care regardless of which day they get admitted to hospital. But the current proposal assumes that the biggest obstacle to this is that consultants are unwilling to work over weekends. But we all know a hospital is made up of more than just a team of consultants. There's an entire multidisciplinary team. Phlebotomists, pharmacists, admin staff, they're all just as crucial. So what we really need is a model that's well structured, accounts for costs, and is a compromise between what doctors want and what the government wants to achieve. So this particular question is actually broken up into two parts. The interviewer first asks me what I know about the seven-day NHS proposal, and then later on she asks me if it's a good or a bad idea. So overall, we can put this into the opinion category, and we use our Easy Medical Interviews opinion framework. Define it, pros, cons, and then wrap up with our conclusion. So to start off, what we did is we defined what the seven-day NHS proposal involved. So we said what the current NHS services are like, which involved vital services such as A&E, ambulance and even some GPs working on a seven-day basis, whereas outpatient care and routine non-urgent operations currently run only Monday to Friday. We then touched on why the government wants to implement a seven-day proposal and this is based on a report. If you can try and remember this statistic it would be great. This report shows that patients that come in on a weekend have 16% higher death rates compared to those that come in on weekdays. There's actually quite a lot of debate about this particular report which you can read up on online or in our Easy Medical Interviews course book, but at the moment you're just defining, so just state the facts. We then move on to our pros. So there are two main pros to try and remember. Number one, hopefully there'll be fewer deaths. And number two, there's likely to be less chaos on Monday mornings for NHS staff to deal with. We then go on to the cons. And once again, try and remember two if you can. So the first one is down to costs. The Conservatives have promised to put in 8 billion, 
but as estimates say the project could take at least 30 billion pounds. And the second con is there's been a lot of resistance from doctors and nurses themselves. So once we've done the pros and the cons, we now wrap up our answer with our conclusion. And once again, we stayed in the safe zone by saying the government are right to have the idea, but the implementation of the plan is wrong. It's really good to throw in the MDT at the end of your answer as well, because it shows that you appreciate there is more to a hospital than just doctors.